Today we gather to fulfill that promise and to honor the 56 Whistler dogs whose violent deaths shocked the world and touched so many hearts. That promise was for the sled dogs to be properly laid to rest, once and for all. After their bodies were exhumed in order to gather forensic evidence so that criminal charges could be pursued. It was the final stage, and dozens of people and their pets turned out at the BCSPCA Pet Cemetery outside of Penticton on Friday. We have been to every vigil and followed this since it broke on the news, I think it was 2010, and it just, being so close to home, it hit hard, and I am extremely emotional and sensitive when it comes to animals. This just was, like with everyone else, it just shocked them that it's the worst case you, you could ever hear of, of animal cruelty. Many of the people who came out in remembrance of the Whistler sled dogs were pet owners and tears flowed freely as goodbyes were given. And while everyone seemed to agree that the day was for the best, some still believe that there is more to be done. Having been involved in the vigils from the very beginning, back in when the story broke uh, last year, um, this was a nice closure for part of it, but I still need to see more action in terms of BC government, Canadian government, regards to animal welfare legislation changes. And this wasn't just an event for the general public to say goodbye. Top senior members of the SPCA also had trouble holding their emotions. And you know, we are professionals and today was just the day that I didn't realize how it would affect me and yes, it was a day of letting it go, just letting go. We will continue to investigate um, sled dog companies the way we've done in the past and, um, and hopefully this never ever happens again. Rogner Hagen in Penticton for Castanet News.